So here we are, I've just got the uh, drill receive on at the moment. Quick video. Comes in handy. So yeah, on this side we've got the uh, signal coming in at 28420 from Texas. And uh, this side we've got the signal coming in from Ohio. So quite nice because it means I can just uh, flick around the band and uh, obviously find the next guy I want to work. So I've just worked the guy in Ohio. It's Jim, NX8 Tango. I'm on the shore of Lake Erie, sitting at minus two, and we have big snow coming down right now. Everything is white outside. A uh, very, very uh, typical winter here in Ohio. And the beauty is, I've got the uh, digital noise reduction working on both. You can hear a slight bit of noise in there when I turn it off. A bit of um, white noise. I'll flip the noise reduction in on that. It eliminates that. And I've got the noise reduction for this guy on 28420 from Texas. That's Peter, W5PS. So I'm just going to flick over to that sub. I can still hear this, this chap. And we can get a nice... Uh, little listen at the same time so I'm gonna um, go back on that sub just to demonstrate I'm waiting for this guy in Texas to finish his queue so I'm gonna try calling local time by the way is 20.32 in the evening UTC here in uh, Yorkshire so yeah pretty useful when you're just uh, waiting around to make your next contact so yeah both uh, VFOs on the same signal you can see there's no difference in signal strength so yeah I like the uh, FTDX 101 MP some of the cool features this is just one of the many So yeah, never miss a station. I'll just check out the 15 meter band. Put the noise on. Eliminate that. So the 15 meter band's closed compared to 10 meters, which is quite unusual. Oh, one or two in there. So I've still got the guy on 10 meters. Hopefully he'll still sound just as strong. Obviously I need the uh, multi-band antenna to make this work. There he is. So he's still coming in just as good. Let's try uh, 12 meters. Get some noise reduction on there. Makes things nice. So yeah, I've got a couple of green cats in the studio. Or should I say the shack? We've got Martha. <laughs> Information we don't really need. And of course we've got M7 ELC lapping it up. Literally. So back to the job in hand. Let's go back on the uh, 10 meter band on this sub. I missed that guy, obviously. The, uh, the distraction in the shack, not the studio, the shack. Obviously, uh, put me back a little bit. But like I say, it's not. A, this is a fun hobby. <laughs> So we've got K2MM in there. I think the band is dropping off a bit, but still. <laughs> bit of giggling in the background, folks. So yeah, I'm just gonna uh, stop the video there. Thought I'd quickly come in and demonstrate the uh, the facility we're operating here in Yorkshire, England. 
checking out the uh, signals coming in live on 10 meters. I'm just going to knock that one off, go back to the single sub, see if we can copy this guy. Uh, driving a solid state amp, one kilowatt, uh, 1,000 whiskey to a uh, seven element mono bander, uh, 20 meters high, uh, Fabrice. And the WX is uh, a little bit cool, it's 19 Celsius, uh, blue skies and sunshine, but uh, it's a lot colder than yesterday. Uh, yesterday was 31 Celsius, so it uh, cooled down quite a bit. Uh, back to you, on 3 ui W5PS, Ed. So back on that one because it looks like he's still talking, obviously. He's going to be busy. So I'll catch you again. I've got my uh, youngest assistant on the camera now. We'll catch you uh, making a few DX. Real soon, this is M0YKS, just demonstrating how cool these FTDX101s are. 73. Uh, you and your